Good afternoon. I'm Jeff Smith. And I'm Gina Quattrochi. Thank you for joining us. The effort to add gay rights to Indiana's anti-discrimination law is dead. The Indiana State Senate was scheduled to discuss Senate Bill 344 this afternoon, but the bill's sponsor pulled the proposal. News 18's Dan Klein joins us now with the latest. Dan, what killed the bill? Well, Senate floor leader Brent Hirschman blames outside interest groups who were unwilling to compromise. The Senate Bill 344 had also been dubbed the LGB but no T bill. Though as we reported yesterday, State Senator Ron Alting says he hoped to get transgender wording back in the bill today. But that did not happen. Hirschman says he's proud his Senate colleagues took up the issue and moved the discussion forward. But he says extremist groups on both sides, many from out of state, doomed the bill. He says it was tough for lawmakers to move beyond the rhetoric because so many passionate constituents weighed in on both sides. That's a concern that's going to be reflected in legislators' actions. And so the hypotheticals that were thrown out there, the um, intensity and um, uh, anger in some of the debate chilled the atmosphere for compromise. Hirschman declined to name any of those outside groups. However, he did specifically express disappointment with Freedom Indiana, who tweeted out that while it was a flawed bill, it's a shame it died. Because he says up till that point, the group had been encouraging all of its members to advocate to defeat the bill. Coming up tonight on News 18 at 6, I'll tell you what Hirschman believes will happen next. Dan Klein, News 18.